Located on one of the busiest streets in Istanbul, the Cercle Dorian serves its visitors with history and art. The 19th century architecture has been a favorite cultural meeting point among residents of Istanbul, foreign visitors and dignitaries. Up until recently, this grand dame stood empty and battered. But now she's about to open her doors to the public and welcome them with open arms with the works of six contemporary artists. Cercle d'Orient is one of the most unique pieces of architecture found among a string of great buildings along İstiklal, Istanbul's busiest commercial street. When we take a look at the buildings constructed in that era on İstiklal Avenue, we find this building to have the highest elevation with a height of 45 meters. If we consider the outer facades of the structure, we find the mezzanines, glass, and the accommodation facilities on the highest floor to serve as an extraordinary center of leisure in that area. Its architecture stands out the most. Made with grooved and inset Gothic designs and pillars, every wall and ceiling in each room is designed with distinct motives and patterns. <laughs> It all began during Abraham Pasha's era, when he commanded the great French architect Alexander Valere to create this building. The triumph of the exquisite construction was celebrated among many. The building was established in 1883 with a huge opening ceremony, which high-rank Ottoman diplomats attended, along with foreigners and minority groups living in the city. There is great anticipation hanging in the air as people look forward to the unveiling of the finished restoration of this historical landmark. We can see that there are many functional rooms in this building, and we are surely to provide visitors with events after the restoration of the building is fully complete. It is impossible to not have arts and culture events in such a historical building. Alongside the programs we organize, we will also have world-renowned museums exhibited, such as the Madame Tussauds. But until then, people can get a glimpse of what's in store for the future with a mini-exhibition. While the historical Cercle d'Orient building holds arts and culture events, it also aims to present the understanding of integrating arts into the streets. One example is of very important contemporary artists that decorate the Cercle d'Orient building at the moment. Sculptor Carol Turner is one of the artists whose work is showcased in the Cercle d'Orient building. People from as far away as Italy, Argentina, Germany, Vietnam, Egypt, and even India are stunned by Turner's art. Moondance is one of her latest works. This fun and funky piece looks right at home while turning heads on Taksim's most colorful, and lively street. Istanbul's Beyoğlu district has a history as an art and culture center. Cercle Dorian is a first degree historical monument that has undergone renovation and it's due to open to the public soon. Currently it hosts artworks by several artists including sculptor Carol Turner on its windows displays at street level. Carol joins us now to talk about this landmark and her work. Hello and welcome. Hello, thank you. Um, you play with figures and abstract form, but there's always a flowing energy. I, I feel it's almost calming whenever I look at your sculptures. Where do you draw your inspiration? Well, I am a dreamer, so that's probably oh, why they're dreamlike. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the fact that I created a lot of those sculptures in water, literally, probably adds to the flow. Oh, right. So I create sculptures from memories. So I need to collect a lot of memories. And I am a people watcher, I like to travel and all of the things that artists like to do. But then I like to find a quiet place to decompress and let all of those memories bubble up and see what I end up with. And for many years, that was what I called my aqua studio. 
which was a large sunken oval tub, soaking tub, that mm -hmm. I would create with clay in there, wax clay that was very good to use in, in um, hot water and steam. Right, so that's probably why there's a lot of flow. <laughs> there's a lot of flow. Well, this is not your first work being exhibited in Istanbul. One of your sculptures, Dream Cloud, has been on the shore of Bukchik Midas since 2011. Tell us about that one. That was my first sculpture in Turkey and my first, one of my first steel sculptures. And that um, clouds have always represented dreams to me. And I was trying to translate my soft, rounded sculptures into a metal that I wasn't as familiar with. So it's uh, a series of spheres, cylinders that um, form a cloud that rotates on a, a tall obelisk. Right, it's so rounded, yet it's made yes. from steel, it's <laughs> yeah. lovely. Um, by placing art in a visually accessible area, Circle Dorian aims to reach out to the public. Even if you're not seeking art, you can actually see it. What do you think about this idea? I think it's a great idea and there should be more of it. Yeah. Um, it's a fantastic location, as you know, and I hope more uh, exhibitions, I hope they have more exhibitions in those windows. Well, one of those artworks is yours. It's called Moon Dance. Tell us about that one. That uh, was inspired by a sculpture I did years ago, actually, in Russia. That's in a museum in Russia, actually. Oh. And it was inspired by birch trees. I was there and I noticed there were so many birch trees. Actually, the landscape was very similar to my uh, landscape back in Oregon. And they appeared to me to be more human-like as they were reaching to the sky. And the um, sculpture in Russia is called Same Sky because we're all under the same sky. And maybe recent events, world events here has, has made me revisit that concept. Mm -hmm. But this is similar, but a little different figures. Right. And again, with a positive message. Thank you very much, Carol Turner, for joining us on Showcase. Thank you.